Hello everybody, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to talk about an introduction of Young's double slit experiment. First of all, what for this experiment is? This experiment is to exhibit interference of light. This experiment is to exhibit interference of light. Then what's the interference of the light? When two light waves from two coherent sources, two light waves from two coherent sources are combined together they produce a pattern of bright and dark spots bright and dark spots this is what you mean by interference when two light waves from two coherent sources are combined together Depending on how do these two waves are going to meet, they produce a bright and dark spots. So the important thing is that what we need to further uh, understand and explain. What do you mean by this coherent sources? Two different sources are said to be coherent if they have a zero phase difference when the waves are getting emitted from these two different sources these emitting waves at the beginning shall have either a zero phase difference or they have a constant phase difference each time when they are emitting they shall have a constant phase difference if that is the case we can call these two waves as a coherent sources right but the catch here is two different sources cannot be coherent two different sources cannot be coherent why they can't be coherent simply because when the sources are emitting the light they emit the light because of say excited electrons which are the ground state you have given some energy electrons in that uh, medium of atoms have excited and they are coming back to the ground ground state and they are emitting energy how many there is lacks of electrons who is jumping from higher orbits lower orbits therefore there is emission of light for the two different sources to be coherent in both of them that many lacks of electrons has to jump identically which is not practically possible therefore two different sources will never be coherent so for two sources to be coherent we shall draw both the sources from a single source that's the rule we shall draw both the sources from a single source because they were drawn from the same source according to Huygens principle as every point on the wavefront behaves like a source they can have a zero phase difference or a constant phase difference when they are coming from both the sources so two sources are coherent when they are drawn from a same source or even we can use source and its image also as two coherent sources so if you use source or its image as two coherent sources then we can experience interference then Eng is a scientist who has explained basing on an experiment called a double slit experiment so what is that Eng's double slit experiment to do we'll have a source 
in the path of that source will keep two slits this is slit 1 this is slit 2 so when the light is emitting from the source like crust and trough this light this light will reach the slits at a particular point then what we have drawn here is nothing but a wave front so identical wave front is hitting the slit from there onwards again these slits starts behaving like sources according to Huygens principle which is being explained in the previous video lessons every point on the wave front act like a source thus these two slits starts behaving like sources being they are drawn from the same source they do behave like coherent sources and they do exhibit interference how do they exhibit interference in the format of a diagram we will show in the next video lesson just uh, come back for the next video thank you for watching keep coming back for more and more video lessons thank you